So a bit of a random video, uh, it's something that just randomly happened today. So I went out to my local shops, I didn't really film any of it just because I didn't know I was going to pick anything up. I was just going around to have a little look, see what's about, pick up some food and um, yeah, I found some, some, some stuff that I've been looking for for quite a while and I just haven't been able to find them. So it's, it, it, I just had to get them, it was one of them impulse buys, well, it's there, chance so it's probably not going to be there ever again or for a long time anyway, so I thought I'd just have to jump in. So this video is going to be a bit loud. I haven't turned the pond off so you can hear. You can hear the noise. You can see the, the pump that's going. I am working on making all this uh, fairly quiet. I am going to do a, a video on this pond at some point. Um, just an update video really and just tell you what I'm going to try and do to make this a little bit quieter. Um, I'm waiting for an electrician to come around. I do need some extra points put in here and there. So once he's there, all of that will basically be sorted. Um, but yeah, I've got something for this pond. I've got two things this pond and I actually got something for the tank upstairs which I'm super super excited about. I've been trying to get hold of one of these, especially a smaller one. Um, yeah, I've been trying to get hold of it for so long and I just could not find one. But I found two. Now I've done a little bit of research. Um, I think I can keep two of these together. The tank's pretty big, it's a Reefer 350 so it's a decent sized tank, there's a lot of rock structure and from the research I quickly did, um, as long as I put these two fish in together they shouldn't shouldn't be a problem hopefully fingers crossed if there is then i'll just have to net one out and find somewhere else to put in but i've wanted one of these fish for so long and yeah two came up so i had to get them but yeah let me quickly show you the monster that is down in this polystyrene box it is massive I, let me show you so i've been trying to get one of these for so long especially this sort of size i wanted to get a massive one if i could and as you can see the box is it's a big old box and you you can see what it is so i've got something in there I'll show you that in a minute. Now I've got this little fella in here. So this little chap in here, this is a uh, reed fish or rope fish or rope eel, whatever you want to call it. I've been wanting to get one of these. I think they look really cool. They, they don't have a lot of colour, but they just they just look awesome. I, I love the face on. They kind of look like normal freshwater eels that you can get, um, like in rivers and things like that. Um, and yeah, they just, I think they look really cool. That's just my opinion. You're not going to be able to see too much at the minute, but um, I will open the bag up and get him out. But yeah, he's really cool. So I'm going to get him in here and acclimate him. Um, and then we're going to look at this guy. Now this guy has punctured the bag. You can see it's deflating. There is some water in the box. So what I'll probably do is I'm going to dump him out in this box. And then that way we can get a proper good look at him. Oh my God. Look at him. Oh my God. This is the, honestly, this is the biggest fire reel I've ever seen in my life up in person. I have seen videos of them, how big they get, um, and yeah, they get absolutely enormous. But this, this is the biggest one I've ever seen, and I've got him for such a good price. It was, as soon as, it, I was actually looking just for the rope fish, and as soon as he pulled the tube out, and this thing just flopped out the tube, I thought, you know, I have to get it. And getting a, an eel of this size, that they're normally huge amounts of money. I'm talking in the hundreds. Um, and yeah, I got this for like a quarter of the price of what you, you can normally get him. And he is a beast. He is massive. Look at him. Absolutely enormous. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start acclimating him. Uh, I'm just gonna be pouring water out of the pond into this tub. I'm gonna get an aerator on here as well, just because I don't, it, you probably don't need them, but I'm gonna put it on here just because I, I wanna try and keep it as, as healthy as I can. But yeah, he's an absolute beast. Uh, I can't wait to get this thing hand feeding in the pond. Imagine this thing just coming up to the surface and slurping a, a massive shrimp out of your hand. He's, oh. I'm so happy with this guy, so, so happy. I'm gonna get him acclimating, get the aerator in there, and um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll have a look at the other fish that I've got for upstairs. So that's the air pump going, and you see I've got two stones in there, just try and pump as much oxygen as I can in there, basically. Um, look at him go, look at him swim. This is so cool. I, I don't know what it is, but I just, I love eels. They're so, so cool. Um, this guy's actually got some mega spines on him. When the guy was bagging him up, he did actually get spined through the bag. So you do have to be careful with these guys. They, they're they not normally aggressive. They're normally quite chilled, quite, quite laid back. Um, you can see he's coming over and giving me a little sniff. That's quite cool. But yeah, I've seen people with these guys and they hand feed them. And yeah, they, they get huge. They, they get to about, I don't know, three, four foot max, I think. But they get some proper girth on them. They are literally thick, like proper, proper thick. But yeah, I can't. I can't believe I found one at this size as well. Just 
oh, I'm over the moon with this. This is probably my, one of my favorite things I've bought so far. I want to try and get the side pattern because he looks quite, he looks black on the camera, but he has got like these orange and red stripes going down his body. Um, and he's got some lovely red markings on, on his side as well. But you do have to be careful because along his back, all along here, there's just spines galore. So he's, he's even got like, um, so I can't get him on camera. I will try and get some more light, but he's got like a, almost like a giraffe pattern on the back of his tail. He just looks incredible. I know it's loud, I'm sorry, but yeah, absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna get some water in here. I'm gonna get this guy over here, I'm bad, get him floating, get some water in there. Um, and then yeah, we'll go upstairs and we'll have a look at the things that I've got for the salt water tank. So now we're up at the salt water tank, and as you can see, it is completely bare. I've had a good old rescape, I've moved everything around. I used to have um, a power head up here, I've now put both the power heads over in this side. I sort of tried to hide them with a little bit of rock, so they're blasting all the, uh, all the water down this way. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is what I'm, I want to show you. I've got two of these guys. Check this out. This is a clown trigger fish. I've wanted one of these for so, so long. And yeah, trying to find one the size I wanted, because uh, they're just ridiculous amounts of money. I just, yeah. So basically I've got two for the price of what a large one. So something double this size would obviously cost double the price, right, I reckon. That's what I've seen. So I've not only got one, but if I get this guy over here, I've also got, where is he? Oh, it's, uh, it's double bagged, that's really weird. But yeah, you can see there's the other one. They're both about the same size. This one on the left's a little bit bigger than this guy, but to be honest, I think they're gonna be absolutely fine in here. Um, there's plenty of rock for them to go around in. They can hide and all that, I've got all this structure. Um, and I do plan on doing a few other bits on this tank, um, but yeah, it's just, basically just been stripped back to, to bare basics. So I'm gonna finally release the, uh, the rope fish. Now I don't really wanna get this water in there, so I'm gonna try and just fish him out if I can, then we can have a little, little bit of a closer look at him. Now, I don't think these guys have got spines or anything, so it should, should be all right. I know that it's gonna be quite hard to hold it. But if I use both hands, I should be able to get the color. Look how cool that is. It's almost like a green color. But these are almost like the, the normal native eels you find in rivers and lakes. They're very close, it's just, oh. It's just the scale's different. So we'll get him in, just because I can't hold him much longer. And off he goes. So this is why I wanted to get the white substrate so you can see everything stands out on the bottom. I weren't too worried about the black sides. I think the black sides actually help sort of bring the color of the fish out a little bit more. It darkens them up and makes the colors a little bit more rich. But yeah, he's, he's all the way down there. I will have to put a tube in here at some point as well. I probably will do that straight away just so that the eel and, and this guy's got, got somewhere to hide, feel safe basically. The baisha that's in here will probably jump in there as well. Um, but yeah, he looks tiny. Now he's in there, he looks, he was quite long. He's probably about, probably getting on for about a foot in length. Um, but yeah, he'll sort of have a look some around and, and get to know what's going on. But yeah, I reckon he'll do just fine in here. So I've probably got another sort of 10 minutes just to finish acclimating this guy. Only because I've done the water check on this, I've just done the temperature. This is probably about a degree and a half warmer still compared to the pond. So I'll just give him a little more time, add a little bit more water, and then we'll try, try and get him in. So I've had to turn the brightness right up just so you can actually see the colours and the patterns on him. It's so cool. So I'm going to try and hand him out basically and uh, get him in the pond. I'm going to turn this back down because. That's like extremely bright, but yeah, I think I think he'll be all right. I don't think he'll kick up too much. Right, here we go. So I'm probably going to get spiked at this point. Um, I think he might be all right, but we'll just just try and take it nice and carefully if I can. I should use a net, but I literally haven't got a net big enough. So I'm just going to gently lift him up. I'm hoping he does. Oh, he's actually really chill. Look at that. Look how chill he is. Try and get a close up on him if you can. Oh, no, 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 he's going, he's going. And off he goes. Oh, my God, he's huge. Look at him. Look at the reed fish. Look, he's come up really high as well. You can see the reed fish up here. Check him out. God, he's absolutely massive. 
So he's got plenty of room in here anyway. I think he's going to do really well, to be honest. Look, he can cruise along the bottom. Um, and yeah, this this pond, this isn't going to be a forever home for these fish. I do know that these fish get absolutely enormous, like the clownfish I've got in here. I know they get to about two foot. Same with the Jardini arowanas. I know they, they can get up to like four. The Asians get up to about three four foot, I think, like full size. Um, so this isn't a forever home. This isn't just until I, I find somewhere bigger, basically. But they'll be good near for a good year, two years, I reckon. So I've got plenty of time to try and find somewhere else. But yeah, he's absolutely cruising on the bottom there. I will get a bit of pipe in here as well, just for him to hide in. Because I know it's not fair on him. He's just going to keep swimming round and round and stress out loads. But, um, but yeah, what a, an absolute beast. He's probably going to be the king of this pond as well. He's probably going to tell everybody who's boss. But... He's having a good old sniff, he's checking everybody out. It's quite funny watching him when he moves his nose, he actually turns his nose as if he's sort of sniffing at something in particular. Um, but yeah, he's, he's really cool, really cool. Just gotta try and get him hand feed now, that'll be the next stage, get him used to the food, and then get him coming up and actually feed him by hand. So one of these guys actually managed to get in, the, uh, the bag must have overfilled a little bit or got sucked onto this pump. And yes, we've got one guy in here already. He's just swimming around the top, chilling out. And then we've got the smaller guy in here. Um, now, normally I wouldn't introduce water from another place, but I know where these come from. I, I pretty much trust them. All their systems are pretty much bulletproof. So I'm not too worried about adding this. Just gotta make sure my sump doesn't overflow too much. But we'll just ease this guy in if he wants to go in. Come on, yeah, what's he doing? Here he is, and there he goes. And as with most fish, they've both sort of dove for the rocks. You've got one guy here, and there's one just up the top there underneath there. So I'll give them some time to settle in. Um, this one's already picking at the rock, which I'm, I'm guessing is a good sign. Um, he's nibbling away at stuff. We've got this little chap up here hiding. Um, but as you can see, I've got a load of rock in here, so they've got plenty of places to hide um, if they need to. And if I do see him fight at any point, then it doesn't matter. I can just net one of them out, hopefully, or get a little trap in there and get one of them. But yeah, they're going to be absolutely amazing. They do swim quite a lot, so they're going to make the tank look like there's a lot more fish in here than what there actually is. But yeah, I will do an update on these guys at some point, as well as the fish downstairs in the pond. Now, I've got the lights on. I finally readjusted the lights just because I've, I've recently just had some new Wi-Fi, so I had to re reattach my LED 90 red sea lights that I've got. Um, it wasn't too bad to do to any, so I just deleted the old lights and just added new ones because I didn't really know how to actually get the lights back on properly. But um, yeah, you can see one of my little clown triggers is over there chilling with the, the uh, clownfish. It's quite funny, the two clowns are together. So he's been chilling around there. He, se he seems to sort of like this rock down here. That's where he's sort of his main, main place is. Then the other guy, I think you can just see him in the center of the screen, just where that rocket, that pointy bit of rock, he tends to sort of hang around around there. I've just seen him swim behind the rock there. But yeah, hopefully they'll be all right. Hopefully they'll they'll settle in. Um, if I do see any aggression or anything like that, then I can just get in there and, and do something about it. But I, I don't think there'll be any issue. They're both small. I think they'll both be used to each other. So yeah. And that's pretty much all I've got for you. It's a bit off the cuff to be honest, a bit of a, a random video for me. It wasn't one I actually planned on doing. Um, yeah, it just happens. Some, sometimes it's things like that. So if you like these sorts of things, then let me know. If you want me to do more videos like this, I can. Um, there's a lot of stuff I don't film. My sort of day-to-day -day stuff that I normally do, I, I don't actually film. Um, and I was thinking of turning this more into like a, a vlog channel. So even though I've got the fish and I've got the snakes and stuff like that, I still do the 3D printing, that's still ongoing. Um, I'm still going out and paintballing, I'm fishing, things like that. So if these are things you wanna see, if you want me to do like a, not like a daily vlog, cause that'd just be absolutely impossible for me to do. But if you'd like me to do like a sort of a, a weekly vlog, so it sort of shows everything I'm doing, I can do that as well as doing the more in-depth videos and things like that, like I normally do. And yeah, please let me know, cause there's, there's a lot I go up to. I've, I've got the Solcata tortoises that are in the garden. I don't really show them a lot. I've got the Koi Pond. Don't really show that a lot either. Um, I'm quite into my cars. I'm into my motorbikes. So again, if they're all things you want to see, then yeah, definitely let me know. It's stuff that I can focus more on. But I do want to start getting more of that onto my channel just because that's the stuff I enjoy doing. That's what I want to start documenting really. Not, not just for everyone that watches, but more for myself so I can go back 
and look and see what happens and how things change and things like that. So yes, yeah, it's something I'm thinking about. So it'd be nice just to know what other people think. But yeah, that's gonna be it. That's everything I've got for you. I will do an update video on these at a later date. Um, especially if I can get that eel downstairs feeding, that'd be absolutely incredible. I'd love to get him feeding. Um, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Hopefully you like this sort of stuff. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.